Hey guys, welcome to your weekly challenge. This week we're going to be making flip books and this video will teach you how. So to start out, you guys are going to want some paper. Then you're going to want to fold your paper in half the long way. Repeat this process about four or five times until you get a nice little stack of paper going. So you guys know the amount of paper you're going to fold is going to impact how big or how thick your book is. So if you want a long book, you're going to want a lot of paper. And now that you guys have your stack of paper, you can start taking your pages and folding them in half again the long way. And you can crease down that edge right there. Make sure they're really straight so it makes it nice even lines. And do that, repeat that process till all your paper is folded. So for this next part, I tried two different techniques. The first technique, I ran my scissors down the folded edge, as you'll see right here. And I was not a big fan of this technique because I feel like it did not give me the cleanest edges. The other technique I tried and ended up using for the rest of the pages was cutting down where the fold was, cutting the fold off. This gave me a much cleaner line and a much more precise cut. So once you guys figure out your preferred method, go ahead and cut the rest of the pages the same way so you have one neat new pile with all the pages on it. Now you guys are going to go back in with your scissors and cut out this folded edge um, along the line. I would suggest doing this with a couple smaller piles because as you see here, I got some really sloppy lines from trying to rush it and do it all at once. So this will be the last line for your flip book. You're going to cut this in half. And like I said, I would suggest cutting these in smaller piles just so that scissors can cut through them a little bit easier. So next you guys are going to want to cut these pages you have in half just to make them proper flip book size. And to do that you might want to use a ruler to find the middle or you can just guesstimate like I did here. Um, doesn't have to be exact, just get them as close as you can so you have even pages. So here I'm messing with the pages in the flip book to figure out how many I want in there and how many pages I want to draw on. So you can make that as long as you want or as small as you want. Um, if you make it too small though, the flip book won't flip properly. So try and keep a decent amount of pages in there. This next step is really important because if your pages aren't totally level on the outside edge, you're going to have a hard time flipping your flip book. So take something with a really flat edge. I used my phone screen and tap those pages down on there and staple your booklet together. And there you guys have it. That is your flipbook booklet. All you guys have left to do is come up with your story and draw it out. Keep in mind your drawings you're going to be drawing are going to be very repetitive and use a lot of the same objects to tell your stories. So try and keep your drawings pretty simple so you don't mind drawing the same thing over and over again. Here I included a time lapse of my flipbook, The Adventure of the Bull. I kept my drawings really basic, just stick figures and the picture of this red ball, and kept going with it until I had a story, an ongoing plot, um, just something to look forward to. And this wraps it up, The Adventure of the Bull. I hope you guys enjoy my flip book. I had a really hard time flipping through it, um, using my finger to flip through the pages. So hopefully you guys don't have that same trouble. I think my paper was a little thinner than I would have normally used. So if you have thicker paper, I would recommend using something a little thicker. Here is my one last attempt at a final flip through and it came out pretty decent. I hope you guys really enjoyed making flip books and I look forward to seeing some of yours.